So I just finished watching Singer 2019, um, the last episode, and I'm just gonna do uh, quick some quick thoughts on this show. First of all, I am very grateful for the show. I think I started watching in 20, maybe 2013, I think is when I started watching. And the reason why I watched was they always invited uh, stars that I grew up watching from Taiwan. Even though there's some, you know, controversy and conflict between China and Taiwan, they still I'm glad that Taiwanese uh, singers and artists um, are willing to go to China, at least just to show that we can get along, so to speak. Um, and it's also uh, good, I think, for you know the Chinese audience to be able to see Taiwanese artists because they weren't always allowed to um, back when tensions were a little tougher. Uh, it was kind of tough for you know Chinese audiences to view Taiwanese artists, even though. Oh, forget it. Anyway, the past uh, several seasons, they started inviting stars from uh, countries outside of what you usually see on I don't know Chinese shows, I think. But they had they brought in people from you know Malaysia, Korea, you know Kazakhstan with Dimash, Jesse J from England, Paulina Gagarina from Russia, various artists from Hong Kong and and um, Taiwan, and I haven't seen a show that really does this. Of course, there's World's Best, but what I'm talking about is stars that people within that country look up to it's not just contestants so to speak you know i applaud the efforts of the world's best but they just don't have what the singer has to be fair i think the singer has a much bigger budget than the world's best but but anyway uh, i will i really do think that um they really need to stop getting one of the participants one of the competitors to also host the show it's just not fair all right and for some reason it's always i don't know about always but you know for the past several seasons it's always been uh the contestant from taiwan or hong kong which is kind of territory that china wants to control and conquer i don't know if that has anything to do with it but i'm just saying um it's just not fair i mean they have to say that they're the last one to perform, and it happens a lot. They have to use their voice and speak to 500 people in a crowd for the entire night and then sing. That's not fair compared to someone that can just rest their voice and sing sing their song and be finished. That's, I, I, I just don't, I don't, I don't know who, whose big idea that was. I just don't know where that idea came from. I, do they think that they were being original? I don't know. Didn't make sense to me. Um, but more specifically to this season, again, I, it's kind of like how I felt about the world's best. I just didn't agree with a lot of what was happening on both shows from the world's best and Singer 2019. So maybe I hope it's just a personal thing and not actually like something unfair happening behind the scenes. But one of the female Chinese singers from the first episode of this season on The Singer, I thought was really strong, like a really strong singer. And it's kind of a shame that she didn't get to compete against Paulina because they're both strong vocalists. Um, you know, you, you could say that she's kind of, I think she's from, oh man, I'm going to butcher it. I think she's from Mongolia or Tibet. Or, if not Mongolia, the area of China that is border that borders Mongolia. So she has that kind of heritage or culture. So she's kind of like the Chinese Mongolian version of Polina, or Polina. You know, you know what I mean. And I also didn't really agree with who got to 
end up in the finals. I think the Chinese girl that I'm talking about should have been one of the people from the fi- fi- to get to go to the finals. Paulina, obviously, I really wanted to hear what song she prepared. I don't understand how some of these singers from you know the competition got to stay on the show for so long and even make it to the final when I thought that there were other singers on the show that did much better. But that's just a personal thing. We all have different opinions. But I just really wanted to see what what song Paulina uh, prepared, prepared for the final round that she didn't get to sing. And that's such a shame. Oh, I just wish. I just wish. Oh, man, I really, really want to know what song. And I just wanted to see what song. Oh, man, anyway. If there was a different universe that I could just go to and see, uh, that'd be great. But anyway, uh, the other singer that I thought should have uh, made it to the final was uh, Gong Ling Na, which is the Chinese fusion operatic singer. So actually, you know, take it from a guy. Uh, I thought that, you know, there were they allowed four people to end up in the final. Um, and then it's it's not like one gets eliminated one at a time. It's it's four people perform and then one one winner, so to speak. There's no first, second, third, fourth place. So I think take it from guy. I think that uh, three of the four finalists should have been women. And it just so happened to be that way. Not because they're women, but because I thought that they were better than the other singers. It's just my opinion. The Chinese girl, Paulina, and Gong Lina. And the last one, I think uh, the operatic group was probably strong. But still, I still think it's kind of unfair because there are three strong singers put into one. It's not that fair. I don't think it's that fair. You know? Um, it should be, you know, solo singers, in my opinion. I don't know. It just... It feels like, kind of like, I don't know, um, a gang fighting one person kind of thing. Like, it, it just doesn't really seem fair. All in all, I'm grateful that, uh, that I get to watch the show every year. I'm uh, very happy that this show became a thing. I hope other countries begin to do this. Hopefully the United States gets to step it up. Like they're supposed to be the leaders of supposedly, they kind of declare themselves to be the leader that accepts people from, you know, various countries. Um, I don't know. I, I'm just going to end it there. Um, I might make some videos about past performances that I really like from past seasons from artists that you might not even know about. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Have you seen previous seasons? How do you compare it with this season? Um, what did you think of this season? Do you have any ideas for the next season? <laughs> let me know in the comments. And thank you again for all the support that you've been showing me. And I will I'll keep trotting on. <laughs> Take care. Bye.